Hey everyone, welcome back. This video is extremely special because this video is specially for our freshly joined first year residents who have, after the long awaited counseling, joined uh, their respective departments of dermatology and started their very exciting phase of this residency in dermatology. So, this video and the coming subsequent video that I'll be posting over a few weeks uh, are like a series where I am just going to address all of the issues that uh, you guys are asking me uh, about starting residency in dermatology. So the coming series is going to be about starting residency in dermatology. We are going to talk about uh, what books you should be reading, how you should be approaching your studies, um, thesis, how to approach your thesis, publications, how to go about uh, applying for these conferences and uh, various other queries that I've been asked. So I will try my best to address this. I'm super excited because this is like um, a way for me to give away whatever I have learned throughout this residency through my experience. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, although I'm a third year resident and I'm preparing for my exams right now, so I'm going to be a little busy over the coming few months. But I will try my best to post regularly and keep in touch with you guys. So um, let's get started. And also many congratulations to you guys for getting into Dermat. This is going to be very exciting and we're going to get through it together. So today's video is going to be about the most commonly asked question that everyone's been asking me, what books to read and how to go about studies. So today's video is about what books to read in the first year of your dermatology residency. So now before I jump straight into the answer to this question about what books you should be reading in the first year of your residency, uh, I would just first give you a brief introduction about all of the books. I would just name the most commonly studied books in dermatology so that you can you guys can get an idea. You guys are basically aware of the textbooks that are available. Do not get overwhelmed. You do not have to read them all in the first year itself. This is just me uh, briefing you about uh, the various books that are available and what all is to be read throughout the residency period. The most important stuff that is to be read. So the first textbook that I'm going to talk about is your standard Indian author textbook of dermatology, which is IADVL. The fifth edition has come out very recently. It's a three volume book and um, uh, it is a very important book for you because you have to read this book in order to clear your theory and practical exams that you're going to be giving at the end of your residency. So for that, this is the textbook that is most important. So you have to read this textbook completely. But don't worry, not yet, not in the first year of residency. It's not necessarily a book that you have to start reading right away. Second are foreign author textbooks that are available for dermatology. So there are four of them. Rook's textbook, Fitzpatrick, Bologna and Andrews. So these are the four foreign author textbooks that are available in the market. Then for sexually transmitted infections, you have VK Sharma, uh, which is a different textbook solely for sexually transmitted infections. Then for leprosy, you have IAL and Joplings. For basic anatomy and physiology related to dermatology, you have Moshella. For histopathology, you have uh, the Handbook of Fundamentals of Skin Pathology by Venkatram Mysore. For drugs in dermatology, you have a separate textbook called Wolverton. So these are the main basic textbooks that are there. You have one IRAVL, which is a standard Indian author textbook. You have four foreign author textbooks, Bologna, Fitzpatrick, Rooks and Andrews. You don't have to read all of these, just one of these. Then you have separate textbooks for leprosy, separate textbooks for STIs, anatomy and physiology of skin, histopathology and drugs. So these were your basic textbooks for theory exams. For your practical exams, there are two books that are available. One is DYP and second is Ward Rounds in Dermatology. So apart from these textbooks, uh, there are a lot of articles also that you have to read. For articles, uh, this uh, is what I'm sharing is a small list. Uh, this is not all of it, but these are a few articles that you can start reading right away. Uh, these are the must read articles uh, in your residency. Uh, whatever remaining the remaining articles are, I will soon try to compile all of them together and put them in an ebook so that you guys can uh, just download it and read all of those articles. But it's going to take some time. So um, until then, you read these and soon I'll put out a video uh, and in the link I'll put the ebook where you can download all of the articles that are to be read in residency, all of the very very important articles that you must read. So there are many 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 books in dermatology. I have only named a very few important ones. 
that I think you should know in the first year of your residency. There are many others, but these are like the most important according to me. Whether you should be reading hard copies or ebooks is a personal preference. See now these are these are very expensive textbooks and you obviously can't buy them all. So ebook is an option. It's basically a personal choice. If you're okay with reading on a tab or a screen, uh, then ebook is also a good option because the advantage of ebooks is that you can have a variety, a library of books uh, without having to spend much money. So it's more economical. Uh, the advantage of having a physical book is that it, it's nicer to read from. Um, so, but yeah, that's that's a personal choice. For the most part of my residency, I've read from ebooks because I'm comfortable with them. So uh, you can go for either of the options. The only reason I am sharing this with you is because I just want to make you aware that ebooks is also an option. So if you don't want to buy all of these books right away, at least get a tab and download all the ebooks and start reading. The third and the most important part of this video, what out of all of this you should start reading and how should you start your studies in the first year of your residency. So before we begin about what to read, how to read, uh, I just want to say uh, one thing about how you should approach your studies. Uh, in your residency because see uh, so far uh, you were studying with a different mindset uh, you were starting to clear a competitive exam and all of that is going to change right now from this point onwards because you're in your residency now you're going to be seeing patients diagnosing patients treating them so it's very very important that you approach your studies as a medium to that ultimate goal which is patient care so do not keep a theoretical approach do not just study with the mindset that, okay, I'm studying to clear the exams. Make it a habit because this is a habit. It ultimately develops into a habit. Whether you study with a mindset to clear an exam or whether you study with a mindset to actually make a difference in the lives of your patients. So all I'm trying to say is that whenever you're reading, uh, keep a practical approach. Uh, read with a practical approach oriented mindset rather than a theory based approach that you've had till now. And whatever you read right from day one, start applying it in patient care because that's the most important part that's the ultimate goal so keep a practical and patient care oriented approach while you're studying instead of an exam oriented approach and i think that will really help you it, it will make the whole process of studies much more interesting for you rather than a burden secondly whatever books i'm going to be mentioning and whatever plan that i'm going to be telling you uh, for the first year of your residency this is the I ideal scenario you know uh, so don't get upset if you're not able to read all of these books um, that I'm going to be telling you in the first year because there's a lot of work. First year is a different time, you know, you're adjusting to residency, uh, you're adjusting to a lot of things. So don't worry, don't worry at all if you're not able to finish all of this in the first year of residency itself. This is for the ideal scenario. Uh, so you can give it a shot, but do not get overwhelmed or do not panic about how much you have to read. So now let's talk about what books you should read in the first year of your residency and how to go about your studies. So for the first year of your residency, uh, I would recommend that you start reading a foreign author textbook. So like I said, you have two standard textbooks, right? One is Indian author, that is your IADVL, and you have four foreign author textbooks. Uh, so I would recommend that you start with a foreign author textbook because um, I mean, IADVL is not necessarily the best choice for you right now. You definitely have to read it for exam. So uh, maybe uh, not in the first year, not necessarily in the first year, because from a conceptual point of view, uh, these foreign author books are very, very good. And I think that they should be read. So out of these four foreign author textbooks, Rooks, Bologna, Fitzpatrick and Andrews, um, first of all, I just want to say that all of these four books are very, very good. You could need either of them, you know, depending on some people like, like Rooks better, some like Fitzpatrick more, some go for Bologna, some read Andrews. So it's really a personal preference. Uh, one thing you can do is you can read one topic from each of the books and see that which one do you like the most because different people like to, they have different preferences when it comes to um, uh, books. But uh, for me personally, I felt that uh, for the first year of your residency, Bologna would be a very good book. Most people recommend that you start with Andrews. Uh, that's the common thing that I was recommended. But after my experience, I feel that in the first year itself, start reading Bologna. Uh, it's a very, very good book. It's very well written, concise. It will help you form good concepts. So I think Bologna is a very good option for first year. Second thing, there are certain topics that you can skip from Bologna. Uh, for example, like hair. 
disorders, nail disorders, and infections. Broadly, these three topics uh, you can skip from Bologna and you can read them just from IADVL. Thirdly, for leprosy, uh, like I said, there are two separate textbooks available because you have to read it very extensively. Uh, so I would recommend that Jopling's Handbook of Leprosy is the book that, that you should start reading in the first year itself. It's a very, very good book. It's not that big. It's a short handbook sort of a thing. So you should start reading it in the first year itself because it will give you an orientation about the disease which is very important. Uh, in the exam, you're going to have a long case uh, of leprosy. You have a separate paper for leprosy and STIs. So uh, start reading Jopling's textbook of leprosy from the first year itself. Uh, for sexually transmitted infections, which is again a separate case in exam and also a, a separate paper, leprosy and STIs, uh, a different paper in exam. So STIs also you have to read uh, extensively. But for first years, I think you can leave STIs as a topic because it's something that you have freshly read in MBBS. So maybe you can leave it for later. But if you are interested in reading uh, for STIs, you have to read IADVL. And apart from that, you can read VK Sharma. As in there are certain topics that are not given in IADVL for sexually transmitted infections, but questions are asked. So you can read those from VK Sharma. Thirdly, uh, the basic uh, anatomy, physiology, embryology of skin read from a separate textbook called Moshella. For basic histopathology that you should be oriented with in the first year, read this very small little handbook which is Fundamentals of Skin Pathology by Venkatram Mysore. Also, you can start reading drugs from Wolverton textbook. Uh, because there are too many drugs and you can't read them all at once later, it's better that you start reading one drug per day or one drug per week uh, at least uh, in the first year of your residency itself. Uh, because they're going to help you in the residency also. You're going to be prescribing these drugs on a daily basis. And it's also a very volatile topic. You tend to forget all of these side effects and contraindications, which are very, very important. So start reading drugs in dermatology from the first year itself, from Wolverton textbook, one drug a day or one drug a week. So those were all the textbooks for first year. Do not worry. Like I said, do not get overwhelmed. It's very much okay if you're not able to read all of these in the very first year itself. This is, like I said, for the ideal scenario, uh, but at least start in the right direction. You know, slowly, slowly uh, start uh, making out time for studies. Uh, you can start with like one to two hours a day. It's more than enough, uh, but provided that you do it consistently for the entire year. Main thing is start reading Bologna. That's going to be your main textbook for first year. And apart from that, as in when you get time, read, you know, uh, one chapter from Jopling, one chapter from Wolverton, one chapter from the uh, Fundamentals of Skin Pathology. So just start reading these books in the first year and you're good to go. So now another thing that I wanted to say is that all of these books that I've mentioned right now are to be read in your study time, as in when you come home and when you get time to study. But when you're in the department, when you're in the OPD, what you can do is, as in when you get time, uh, suppose you're free, uh, you can start reading these articles uh, which uh, are available online. They are very, very important and a lot of articles have to be read. Uh, they are as important as textbooks. So uh, start reading, uh, start getting into the habit of reading these articles as and when you get time. And there's this another very nice, short, concise textbook of the entire fundamentals of dermatology. So it's like a textbook that will give you a basic idea of all the diseases that you're going to be uh, coming across, uh, a very basic information about them. So it's a very good book to read. Uh, it's called Compendium of Dermatology. So uh, you can carry it around, you can read it as and when you get time uh, during your work hours. Finally, very briefly, I'm going to discuss how to study. I'm going to make a separate video on this, but since I've already told you what all there is to study, I think I should just mention a few points that you should, that you should start doing. Firstly, if possible, always, always, always try to make notes. Until unless you are absolutely repulsed by the idea and you just do not like making notes, try to get into the habit because it is something that will help you extremely in the final months of your residency and even throughout the residency. So uh, it's, it's very important that whatever you are reading out of these huge textbooks, you have compiled at least some of it in your own words, in your own language, 
uh, in a short manner over four to five pages. So that's why I feel that you should get into the habit of making notes in residency is going to be very, very rewarding. So try doing that. Sit with Bologna and sit with a notebook and a pen and uh, you know, whatever the basic headings are, whatever the important points are, just try to make notes in your own language. Uh, they should be clear, concise, and also uh, leave a lot of spaces because as and when uh, throughout the residency, you're going to collect more information from different books and you're going to add it there itself with the topic. At least for important diseases, you have to make notes like psoriasis, lichen planus, vesiculobullous disorders, connective tissue disorders. These are like the topics that are most commonly encountered. They are the most important topics. And you basically have to read them from each book. So when you're reading psoriasis, a topic like psoriasis, you have to read it from Bologna as well as uh, Rooks, as well as Ayurveda. So it's important that that topic that you have read from four different books, you have compiled it together with yourself in one place. So that's where the importance of making notes comes in. So I will uh, try and make a separate video about how you should make these notes. But until then, just just at least get started with this. Secondly, uh, at least study for one to two hours per day. Uh, try to make this a habit and try to follow this consistently because otherwise in the end, it's all going to be too much and you're going to have your thesis and publications and it, it might get uh, a bit too much in the end. So uh, not trying to scare you or anything. I mean, one to two hours a day is pretty reasonable. So that's all. Uh, I hope you guys understood a basic approach to how you are supposed to go about your studies in the first year of your residency. If you have any more questions related to it, you can ask me in the comments or ping me on Instagram. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe and leave a comment. All the very best. I'll see you in the next one.